Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Prayer this Friday, the 3rd of September. I'm going to use the Book of Common Prayer this morning. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord, let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the psalms that is set for this morning is Psalm 15. Lord, who shall dwell in thy tabernacle? Or who shall rest upon thy holy hill? Even he that leadeth an uncorrupt life and doeth the thing which is right, and speaketh the truth from his heart. He that hath used no deceit in his tongue, nor done evil to his neighbour, and hath not slandered his neighbour. He that setteth not by himself, but is lowly in his own eyes, and maketh much of them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth unto his neighbour, and disappointeth him not, though it were to his own hindrance. He that hath not given his money upon usury, nor taken reward against the innocent, whoso doeth these things shall never fail. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading this morning comes from Proverbs, chapter 30, verses 1 to 9 and 24 to 31. But I'm going to continue now with the Te Deum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all of the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. 
When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And the New Testament reading set for this morning comes from Mark's Gospel, chapter 9, verses 14 to 29. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them and the scribes questioning with them. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed and running to him, saluted him. And he asked the scribes, What question ye with them? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he formeth, and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answereth him, and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer with you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground, and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came into him? And he said, Of a child. And oft times it hath cast him into the fire, and into the waters, to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but prayer and fasting. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, 
that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven, and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty and merciful God, of whose only gift it cometh that thy faithful people do unto thee true and laudable service. Grant, we beseech thee, that we may so faithfully serve thee in this life, that we fail not finally to attain thy heavenly promises through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace, and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life. 
whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, as we come to you this morning, we know that you will hear us as we call to you. We bring to you our world. Our uppermost in our hearts at the moment are the troubles in Afghanistan. We have watched as the British, the Americans and many Afghans have been airlifted to safety in the past weeks. We thank you that this has been possible, but we know that not everybody who had a right to travel, was able to leave. We think of those who have been left behind in Afghanistan. Those who worry about what the new government will be like. The threat to all of those who have helped the West. The threat to women who have seen much more freedom in past years. Father, we pray for Afghanistan. We pray for those who feel forsaken and left behind. We pray for the government. We pray that they may govern fairly and justly. And Father, we pray for all of those Afghans that did manage to leave the country. Those who've been flown into the UK. We pray that they may find a welcome. We pray for all of those who are assigned to Find homes for them. We pray for their integration into life here in our country. And Father, so many people have been challenged and I'd want to help. Help us to know the best way that we can help. Help us to direct our help into ways that it can be the most use. Father, we also continue to pray for our town. 
We pray for Rayleigh. And especially this week as the schools will be returning if they haven't returned already. And a lot of changes in the schools with no bubbles. We pray for safety for the children. We pray that the threat of the virus in schools and colleges and universities, that it won't spoil life for classes this year. We pray for all of our schools and really for the teachers and the children. We pray for our young people who are heading off to university very soon, maybe some for the first time, others for their second year, and we pray that it will be unlike the first, that they will have more freedom this year. We pray that they will remain safe, And Father, we pray for all those who work in Rayleigh too, in our shops, in the care homes, in the restaurants, all those who work in our town. And we continue to pray against the coronavirus. We thank you for the continued rollout of the vaccine here and pray that it may be rolled out more widely around the world. We pray for all of those who are sick and ask that you will bring them healing. And we pray for those who've been bereaved. Who miss their loved ones. And we ask that you will give them comfort. And Father, we bring the prayers that have been left in the Allen Chapel. We pray for John and Anne Conway and their family after the loss of their beloved son Luke who died in his sleep we pray for Stephen that he might find the pathway to a brighter future we ask that you will help him solve all of his problems we pray for Chloe, that she may find happiness in her darkest hour. We ask that you will help her to overcome all of her problems. We pray for Rini, that she may find happiness in her new abode. We're asked to pray for Diego. Oh, Jesus, please protect Diego, my baby brother, Valentino and all of my family. We pray for Maureen Dwyer. We pray for all of the Afghans who are trying so hard to flee from the Taliban. And we pray for all of those who have died so that we might live. Father God, as we bring these prayers to you, 
we ask that you will answer them and we ask that you will continue to guide us through this day encouraging us to be in the places you would want us to be and speaking to those people that you would want us to speak to. We continue to look to you to be a light to our path this day. Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers, which we pray in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. It's been lovely having you join me this morning. Have a lovely day. I shall look forward to seeing you very soon. God bless. Goodbye.